Man. And with that, they they move on. So we're going to be having the Lucius finals now. It's going to be Magical Hydraulics against Walter Team as a run back. Nice, nice. We'll see. We'll see what's going on here. This is a crazy opening. The, the man, the the barracks right behind. Well, like I said, that might end up being banned. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> That's just, like, evil, man. <laughs> it's so evil. <laughs> like... I mean, fair, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't, but... It... But it was, it, was a, it was a tough strategy to deal with. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... Like, it didn't work, but not to the point where it's not worth trying. If it was inexperienced players, right? Probably like me. Yep. Since it's all new, right? Um, I, I would have died right away. I would have yeah. had no clue how to defend that or do anything, you know? Man, that's such a good play. It's sneaky. I love it. I mean, even as it was, like, that being a 2v2 is a huge reason why Throne Sport survived that. Yeah. Because if it weren't for being 2v2, Mix would have just lost their base and that would have been it. Right. I mean, granted, it would have been less firepower against them, but still, having lost their main and then the natural gets attacked, it's just, yeah. Not a whole lot you can do. That was, that was so good. Yeah. Good game by both of those teams, though. So much to learn, you know? You get to see mm -hmm. these, like, really cool strategies. I love it. Yeah, well, it's worth noting the next match the best is best of one. So okay. whoever wins this just moves on to the grand finals. That's cool. And yeah, there's a run uh, back of our first winner semis match that we watched. Then Magical what's the, are we doing best of five for the We're, end? Or? Yes, with okay. Thronesport getting an, a free win. A win, win, yeah. Cool. I'm just making sure that's the, you know, still the same. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I appreciate you having me here, man. This is so oh, cool. Glad you're having fun. Glad to have you. Okay, so we are... Yeah, we haven't had a chance they... to see Mala yet. I don't know if yeah. we will, but it's worth knowing we haven't had a chance to see them yet. So. <laughs> That'd be nice. It's like it's making me feel like if I want to see Mala, I'm just gonna have to play after. <laughs> I mean, last week's tournament had Mala. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. There's no suggestion box. So. <laughs> play Mala. I want to see Mala. Play, so you saw Mala play, last play week. Mala. This week's Orzum week. <laughs> Love it. Mm -hmm. I want to see more Icor. I didn't see any of that. The last match. We, we, we didn't. You're right. No, no, we did. We saw a few. Was there a few? A little bit. Not a huge amount. It's mostly Absolvers, but I think we saw a few Icor just pushing back against some of the. Centauri. Solvers are so amazing. Such good CG units right there. Well, such good zone control as like actually breaking through stuff. It's not like they're good against buildings if you can get close enough. But that's yeah, yeah the range is their main weakness. Yeah. I just love a unit that can just turn into a mini turret. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know. No, it's, I know what you mean. I know what it's you mean. it's it's a cool feeling. And I mean, just like the animations of it are just way too cool to you know. It's like it reminds me of a bunch of magic missiles, you know, just coming out. Oh yeah. You know, it's what kind I mean? of funny because like, it's supposed to be the opposite. It's supposed to be them like draining everything around them. Right. But yeah, currently it is just a spam magic missiles. I wonder if you can make them in reverse. 
you know. Oh, probably, yeah. Just uh, it's it, the, the, yeah, then it wouldn't look that way. That would be really cool. Yeah, I can't wait. Alpha things, man. Alpha things, but stuff to look I forward to. I feel so lucky to be in alpha things. <laughs> no matter how broken it is, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Although something else is going to say about that because. Sad. Oh yeah, resonance because you've seen a bit of it, but like their siege animation is honestly kind of cute. Yeah, I, the, like the the little oh, stomping, yeah. the little, like oh, as I stomp it, around to deploy. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I haven't seen them siege up too much. They have been utilizing them. That's true. But if you do see them siege up, like do pay attention because it looks neat. I will. I will. Alrighty, so we. All right, I guess it makes sense. Let's see where the moats go because we have Orzum, double Orzum mirror. I haven't seen a double Orzum mirror since before any other immortal existed in this game besides Orzum. We don't get double Orzum mirrors. The like, the, see. I, once, once Ajari became a thing, you sometimes saw people play Ajari as well. Mm -hmm. And then once Ajari became a thing, people played Aru as well. But when the game started out, it was just Orzum. And so it was all Orzum mirrors. All day. Can I just say how beautiful the waterfalls look? Yeah. I love it. You can say that. You can say, oh yeah, right, you can really see out the side. Mm. A bit clear at the top, though. I love it. It's... It adds so much characteristic to the map. It does. Okay, interestingly, we aren't seeing the proxies. No. We're just seeing pretty We're standard definitely going play. safe, yeah. I did not Ooh, expect that. Oh. I think, you know, best of one. You, you wouldn't think to see that, but apparently... Yeah. Right. Well, they want to stay in it to win it, so... I That's can't. true. Oh, they say that, that same time Sand and Scruffy are getting more and more moats into their opponent's base. Trying to steal the tower pyre. Trying to maybe get some Legion Halls up? I don't know. Maybe. They don't have 50 pyre yet, so they can't quite do it. But if they steal, if they take any of the towers, they will have 50. Oh, man. It's a matter of time. Scruffy's got some units popping up here. Scare away the most. Oh, there it is. They're dropping it down. First Empire Broken on an unfinished building. Okay, probably should change yeah, it. Doesn't work on not, unfinished buildings. Not enough. Yeah, not enough uh, backup here. Oh, here they come. 4v3. But they, they do. Are You're going to have to macro this. 2v3, and then we got some more. Which one's coming in with yeah, Santa? This is gonna be bad. Uh Santa definitely probably should leave. Um Well I mean That was definitely a fail. It's a safer approach. Yeah. Of going for a second. Oh Oh wait, do both those Orzum shoot they both is that shoot an Empire Unbroken. From the previous Empire Unbroken, because it the cooldown is less than a minute. So Okay. Just fifty wow. damage a second Whoa. off of the Orzums. It's just shooting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because Orzum has that. a has an attack now. I mean, it's not gonna matter. Once this is gone, the Orzum's yeah, gonna it's vanish. Gone. Yeah. But still, that was. They need to get out of here. That was a thing oh. that happened, and more importantly, a thing that happened that was not all in. So Sand and Scruffy can yeah. actually build behind this and have a chance at the rest of the game. Yeah, it was a, it was a poke game right there, and they definitely lost, but not enough to where. <laughs> They're going to get overrun, so very, very nah. good play. Just got to keep them thinking. Are they going to go for it again? They have Golden Fort. Possibly. Why are they not going for the Pyre? I don't know. That I don't know. Maybe he's giving it to Scruff? Could be. Oh, yeah, probably Scruffy, is. Scruffy's... Scruffy's lower. Yeah. Scruffy's lower. Could start setting up for... Or that's no, sorry, higher. Good... But could start setting up for either Pillar or possibly just arbitrarily placed towers. Possibly. Not the case. It saves up for the big stuff. Do we have any other expansions on the fireside? Nope. 
Just the naturals, which are Looks under construction like halfway. Santa's got a team going up north. Here's to be mainly for Pyre, but that's a lot of Zentari just to take yeah. out some Pyre camps. He's definitely firing. Okay, we got some Zentari units. And Magical can't push in with them. No, definitely not. Hydraulics and Magical together might be able to, but that's I may not be their focus. They're all coming down right now. They're probably going to try to see if they can get a secondary Acropolis or something. I don't know. I mean, are they trying to see if there's a third? They're trying to see if there's an opening for the expansion? Possibly. Like, they know that the Acropolis is under construction for Scruffy. They had the scouts. Mm -hmm. So they know that Scruffy right. and Santa might down. be a little behind an army, but now, well, not that far behind. Not with the Absolvers popping in. Yeah. And move those Absolvers up the hill a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. okay. They got and some vision. They know another Acropolis is being built with a Pyre Tower. Which is important to know because now that means they they know they're kind of falling behind. They got another third as well. Just yeah. Constantly yeah, one step behind what does their opponents. Have? Does he only have two? They only have two. Yeah. Main base, natural. But both magical and hydraulics are at are getting their thirds. And how long that lasts is anyone's guess, but it doesn't appear to be that long. Oh, and Hydraulic's going for the cheeky little tower on the hill. Which is a good setup. Oh, the cheeky little Magi on the hill is certainly helping out. Solver's coming in trying to go pillar through Scruffy. There's the pillar we were talking about. Only took a couple minutes, but it drops. And we have Empire Broken versus Pillars. See what happens. Well, everyone doesn't want to fight. That's what happens. Yeah, they they left the hollow ground, which is a little weird. Still got real well, move back the absolvers. Be able to take them out. Yeah, Set up their own, provide defensive cover. Hydra's absolvers just we're on a better targeting mechanism right there when they drop. We got some Zephyr units coming down. Some more absolvers. More power drops, and now it's just hydraulics and that magical. They're able to start really building up that map control. They they have their economy going. Santa Claus's third is on the way, but Scruffy's got nothing else. Do you have any uh, Angelariums or? Oh, good question. I have hydraulics is one. Magical's getting one. Okay. And Throne's already on the way for Santa Claus. Okay. Yep. That's what I was wondering. Nothing for Scruffy, though. Yeah. All right, Bobman. Loves his Ooh, thrones. are they gonna be able to build up the thrones in time? Because this know. this magi combo is doing work. A lot of work. Magical. I mean, they're holding the line. A really good forward. macro game. Go. Yeah, I think this this Acropolis is gonna be struggling. Because remember, the Magi not just had the hallowed ground; they also heal. So these Zentari from as part of Magical simply are not going to be going down that quickly. Yeah, Magical is just destroying right now. There's some thrones coming through. Didn't get the first one. Oh, I think yeah. a second one should be popping up here soon. But they didn't get the Magi, which means they really didn't get. Any damage done on the things taking out Sacropolis? Yeah, Scruffy just fed him two free units right there. I'd definitely get out of there. Down goes the third. Oof. Santa Claus. They're hurting. And Magical and Hydraulics are perfectly happy just to take that and yeah. walk off. Get some fire. Set up more of the towers around the map. Just be be safe. Don't don't go too far. Don't go too hard. Just be safe. Yeah, and at, at, uh, Magical and Hydro, they just like they have so much expansion. They they just really are running the board, in my opinion, right now. And they're getting their own thrones too, on top of Castigators. The next yeah, fight, we're definitely going to see some Castigators. That's for sure, because the they already saw the one throne. 
Now it's just a question of what Santa and Scruffy try to do to compensate for that. I mean, I'm sure they're probably aware their yeah, phones are going for the castigators. Still going for the thrones, but just going for heavy focus and thrones. Not even going for ground forces to stop the castigators. Or, well, theoretical castigators. I haven't actually seen any yet, but still. Oof, you're trying to break through the Empire Broken. So we got Hydra and Magical. They're all coming down once in the mid. I think this is going to be a push coming on real soon here. Unless they're just going to gauge what Santa does with his thrones for positioning. I think you're right. I think you are... I think you're on to... I think you're on to them. Because... It would it tracks with their current safe play. Yeah. And also, I don't think... Okay, the Castigators are yep. now, they come. now finally yep. coming in. Yep. Yeah, they're going to build up right here in the middle. Try to keep the top side. It's got to be careful. Yeah. As soon as they come too close to those Absolvers, though, those Castigators are just destroying these thrones. Already got one. Absolver's helping out. Trying to cover, but Hydraulic's yeah. positioning wasn't ideal. Losing one Absolver for free. Yeah, the Still, I, I think the times. Absolvers were too far back. Oh, the source, oh, though, man. coming in from Hydraulics. Taking wow. out the Absolvers, pushing them back. Castigators now have free reign. Yeah, Worth noting no in all this time, right another expansion another from Magical. Acropolis. This is looking really well for Magical and Hydra coming down through the middle. Probably going to go to the bottom left. Probably take out Scruffy. Pillar of Heavens is dropping down. All right, Magical is ready. We're going to take out all of these thrones with the Castigators. Two just dropped. Still Please, got some Zephyr they units. Sort out, they sorted out the Pillar. The Absolver's still doing work right here. Absolver is getting no targeting. Santa Claus trying to find better targets for the thrones as well. Don't yeah. don't get the castigators. Just find other find other routes. But it's not enough. Wow! Loses another throne. I'm trying to figure out where where Scruffy's backup. He's got like three three thousand. I, I see. Are they just defending? Uh, is, well, uh, I don't know. Three thousand a little bit. It was wow. 3,000. A lot of Mystic now is, well, Santa's lost their whole army. Scruffy. GG. No, not even. They're throwing the towel. Magical Hydraulics, they got it. Moving on to the Grand Finals. Good game. Good game. Wonderful team. Got the run back, too. That's the other thing to note, is that they actually did... They they had... No, Magical Hydraulics had lost, got knocked into losers by the Walter team. So oh, running yeah. it back to get into the Grand Finals was... Well played by them. Hey, they they uh they got their vengeance right there. They did. They really did. That was a. I, I don't want to say it. It's not mean, but that was kind of a clean sweep. It was kind of by one right there. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't it didn't really have a whole lot of threat. They defended very well. They defended initially well because the first attack was very much this safe approach of let's just try with one Legion Hall and see what happens, and it went down. Yeah. It was later in the game, so there's more defenses, and it didn't really do much. Yeah. And they didn't get to you know expand as much like at all. You know, I, I feel like once you get those three Acropolises going, like it's really really hard, you know, to gauge your opponent's strength. Right. Just sticking trying to two, get in. And, you know, throughout pretty much the tournament, it's kind of easy to know that they're just going to stick with that basic and just run in, you know, kind of essentially just cripple one side and have one side, like, mm -hmm. building up is, like, really hard when it's a team game. I mean that's always the thing with the, that is the thing with team games in this game is that it is trying to read the game state is definitely tricky. Granted, you have four T bots between you by default, and on top of the ones you can pay for and build, but hey, it's still, yeah. you know, it is still a lot in terms of knowing like well, where normally you'd have to, in one v one you have to deal with like forty eight supply worth of units, 
Got to do with 96. Right. Yeah. Might all be yeah, at once. Yeah. And it's a lot faster. <laughs> Way faster. Way faster. Sometimes you're like, where did all these units come from? Mm-hmm. Setting up for the grand finals. You know, Mixu awesome. and Hydra have a bit of a break because they did win winners finals. Now they're into the grand finals with the extra extra win. Where's... Hoping everyone is enjoying the tournament. This is so much fun. I appreciate everyone being here. I'm excited for all these tournaments on Saturdays. There's, there's fun. They are so fun. much fun. And this week is the last two v two until after the monthly. So, if you like two v two, well, you're gonna be, you're gonna be satisfied after that. But also, if you like one v one, then the next couple weeks are gonna be some really awesome one v one games. Yeah, I'm really excited to see those. they get in the lobby? Oh, they got in the lobby. Just to figure out which right. map they want to play on. But probably Lost Province. <sighs> no Fool's Rush. Or Embargo, for that matter. It is 2v2. Embargo's a legit map. Mm. Only 1v1 that Embargo's not allowed. Just but Lost Province is too favorite. big. Embargo. Yeah. Yeah, Lost Province. So. So oh, fun. Embargo is actually what we're going to be playing on. Okay. Awesome. Good, good call. <laughs> good call. Embargo. I'm loving the map designs. I it's not like have too cluttered I, it's or not. anything, you know? I love it. I think it helps. I mean, the way they design it is kind of typical of just blocking it out and then setting up art. But I do like that they've been quite reserved with the art. Like, they make it work, but they make it tasteful. Yeah. I I feel the art's beautiful. I mean, sometimes I'm just looking at the, the trees and the bushes just, like, <laughs> blowing in the wind. I'm That's like, part of the reason Fool's Bay is my favorite map, honestly, is that it is so pretty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Fool's Bay... Although part of that's also because it actually it's a darker terrain. So because one the one thing with Lost Province is that the terrain's a bit bright, so it can be hard to sp to spot the units. That's gone a bit better, but Lost Province or er, Embargo and Fool's Bay have a slightly better contrast ratio. All right, so we are looking again at Zol Orzum. So not pure Orzum, but it sounds like. Part of the reason for Zol Orzum is that Ajari and Mala apparently have issues fast expanding with the Orzum rush. Why Zol doesn't, I'm not sure, but that's apparently the thing. I love I the other Ma. That's one of my favorite building units. Oh, the. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of curious whether the Ether Ma or the Siege Ma is the one that's planned to be the final design for that. Because they both use the same model, so obviously only yeah. one of them, well, presumably only one of them is going to keep it. I love that, like, it's my sleepy buddy. I, I'm sorry, you, what? He's not, like, he's my sleepy buddy, you know? He just looks like he's sleepy, enjoying his dreams. Oh, I thought you yeah. meant, like, like you'd want a stuffed animal of it or something, and like, are oh. you? Oh. I yeah. mean... Okay, I mean, if you like cool. if you like that, like big <laughs> big man eating Venus flytrap type thing, or well, pitcher plant. Like a giant fanged pitcher plant, then you know you do you, but that's not my first call for what I'd want to have if I wanted a stuffed animal. Hey, I wouldn't turn down having a plushy other mall though. Come on. Uh, it would be kind of cool. Alright, well merch opportunity for Sunspear Games. Plushy Ether Mall. <laughs> yes. But besides that, we are looking at double fast expansion from both players. 
bit early aggression. More coming in from Hydraulics and Magical. Yeah, they're definitely building up. And some more units. Gonna take right. out that neutral tower. And down it goes. There we go. And up there's the tower. That's good. I mean, still. Hydra's coming down. Gotta be careful, more yeah. Fire. <laughs> that which they need because at this point, I mean, Mixu could Empire broken, but Hydra can't. Oh yeah. no, Mixu can't because they're not playing Zor Orzum. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Hydra can't Empire and broken right now, which is not currently a problem. But it's, I. It seems like it it's the be. thing now. You need to you, having fifty Pyre in the bank at all times, mm -hmm. just in case. Seems like it might be the way to go for Orzum. Yeah, that was a funny tactic, actually. What the dropping the dropping the building and then dropping a the fire broken on top of it? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I mean, I give you that, but I doubt it's going to last for long. I expect they're going to fix it. Yeah, that you can't empire so. broken on unfinished construction. That yeah. just seems like the easy I fix. Think, yeah, I don't. I don't think it should be a fully built. I agree. But it doesn't last terribly long, so I mean. Uh... It lasts. I mean, a minute in the early game is a lot. That's more of the problem. That's true. You, you that lock is down true. your opponent's base for at least a minute. And that's a minute, assuming you're not using that time to then get more more pyre so you can cast it again before the first one finishes and have two orzms on the building. Like dealing 50 <laughs> damage a second yeah. with the orzms. Yeah. It's such a cool freaking ability, though. I love that. Oh, yeah. No, it's great. It's a, it's an awesome ability. It needs, it's so cool. needs a bit but, of tweaking, yeah. but I, I'm yeah, getting yeah. it's... I'm getting really happy when it's properly set up, and then it's just like now it's something to respect. Because before it was like you drop Empire Broken, okay, the building doesn't die. If it's on a Citadel, it becomes splash damage, but otherwise it's like okay, the building doesn't die, I'll just move away, whatever. But now it's something that can be used semi-offensively, and also now it's a question of I mean, if I can kill the tower, I stop getting hit by Orzum. But it makes some it more build up. Mm. Love it. Yes, we do. Oh, underspines too. Haven't seen those in a while. Oh! Wow, that's the first time I've seen that. That's a new... The Underspine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's been there like, for a bit, but the color, it's definitely the not color. for popular. Yeah. Or it wasn't. It is now, but it's not as much. Great unit, though. Burrows, creates rootway, slows down... A new thing, if you had seen it before, is that it slows down units when it hits them. Yeah, I just... I think I just remember the placeholders, so I just... Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't remember yep. it moving. Like, it just... Uh, that that was new to me, my bad. It's very cool to look at. I love it. The resonance coming in with it, Icor. We got some Zephyr units over here. Um, Definitely not going to be good to try to take on Icor unless they have some defense in front of them. Not for the Icors, no. Yeah. Um, But the resonance are some, here, so there's... That, that is a Bone Stalkers. Which are also kind of dangerous in this context. There's, I don't know. They got enough defense behind it, but the I cores, I mean, the bonus targets don't have a lot of room to play. Ooh. Got the arm broken. But All right, here we go. Push back. Looks looks like a, a little poke battle is gonna be starting here. We got Mixu separating his I core from the bone stalkers. You take out a resonant. Oh, nice. that was that was that nice. Was that was big. Three. That was big. Okay, no, not anymore. A couple oh, of, three oh, upwards oh, lost oh. in the process. No, no, no. Starting to turn. Get Fortunes that. are there turning go, here. Go. Magical's magical setup resonance. Not yeah. letting those Lycors get away with much. Took out so one of their resonant 19. buddies. That's all they get. See, we got some resonance on the other side of the wall. In siege mode, very nice. With the underspines to the extra range. Yeah, that's a very good combo right there. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of the. It might be the reason why Zol is able to get. Now, Zol would be able to get with fast expand because of that. It does give Zol a lot more power with the resonance than Mala has, because Mala doesn't have underspines. She has the, the incubators instead. Incubate, yeah. Okay. So she has more yeah. kittle that can then be used to help body block for stuff. 
but she can't get the extra range without a blood well, which costs pyre. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, Ikor's coming. Okay, Mixu getting some solid hits in, but these Ikors are not long for this world. Yeah. Ultimately, did pay for themselves, but just barely. It's like a Wait, what? Magical... Hydra again with the quick thrones? It's like seven minutes yeah. in and still a throne. Yeah, he, he definitely went through it really quick. That's been a common theme this game. There's a lot of the Orism going fast throne. throne. Yeah. I mean, I realize Shara are expensive, and thrones are a bit more reliable that way. Yeah. But it's just surprising how fast did you get up. I mean, okay, granted, I say that having played through Throne, like the whole Throne meta. Mm, the Throne Wars. The Throne Wars, <laughs> yep. Yes. It's episode two of the game. <laughs> Quiddle Strike Back. Actually, that's kind of the current. That was the current meta before the Orzum and Zolts <laughs> change that made Mala hard to play, apparently. Oh my goodness, this is not looking good. And there's no castigators to really defend against all of these thrones. Not yet. Oh, okay, to be fair, it's not going to be the case for Magical, but they can get... Are they going to get... What are they going to get for this? Because they could get the Wraith Bows, and they are going to get Wraith Bows. I'm wondering if they're going to yep. have any Aerox, but I don't think that's... They're not building any at the moment, that's for sure. Would be nice, so all right, Magical's, up to the wall, uh, running up, but runs back. And I'll try to find a better position for themselves. They were trying to take out that ether. Wait, what? Hydra, Hydra, seriously? Yeah, this is this is your opponent's third Hydra. You're, you're not supposed to take that, but I guess if they don't say no, then there's not much, not much <laughs> they can do. See, we got Hydra and Magical chilling in the middle as a team. Ready for a pincer movement. Yeah. Okay, got the ambush circle. We've seen this. Very nice, very nice. Uh, oh, it doesn't pay off or anything. Got a bit of extra damage, but not much. I mean, ambush circle on thrones. That's, that'd be some the extra damage off that. Well, I, I, it doesn't work for air units? I think so. I mean, they were getting cloaked, so presumably they get the ambush damage. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. Somehow they're hiding the air units in the clouds, I guess? In the air bushes. <laughs> it's a smoke screen effect, right? Yeah. yeah. The or the sun's at their back. It's the fog. <laughs> the, the sun's in your eyes, Sonny. Let's get it. We got some thrones. We got some Icor and resonance build up right here. This is one resonance is shooting over the wall. Ooh. Question of how much is gonna matter though. Wow. Hydraulics. Wow. Okay, this is This is a throne pretty solid war. fight here. This is literally a magical. Throne war. I okay, magical hydraulics taking the, the Icors. Got a pirate. Ancient god. Let's go. Pillar of Heavens drops down. Hydraulics with the push. Having to deal with the Empire Broken on the tower, but that's not going to last long enough to really matter as the thrones continue to push in. There are so many thrones Tip. in here. Lit all the bone stalkers. You're Stop. definitely using the thrones as defensive purposes. Very good strategy right here. We got some residents still attacking thrones. I don't think, uh, yeah, uh, very good job. I was about to say they definitely should on siege move or those thrones are going to take out those residents. Okay. Okay, they're still taking this wall over here. I mean, just using poking, the teapot. Using the te Oh my goodness. The important thing is that as long as they can distract Hydraulics' as thrones, yeah. then Hydra and Mixer can kind of keep holding onto the main center of the map. I feel they should uh, spawn a few Absolvers, though. Why do you say that? Just, just to help with some thrones being stationary. Uh, but so Zolvers can't shoot up. Them out with... Oh, they can't. Nope. Oh my goodness. Nope. I forgot about that. Castigators can shoot up though, so that would be the option from the Soul Foundry at least. Well, Castigators, amazing. Okay, Hydra going for the push. Looks like yeah, it. Hydra wants it. Yeah. They want blood. Yeah, it's 
that's down. Definitely. Well, from here is the question of are you going to take out the broken? Very good. What? And Hydraulics also took out Hydra's base over to the north side. But at the very least, the blue team is managing to maintain their map presence. They're not totally losing out. Yeah, but look at all those I-Core that... Oh my goodness, the resonance. Yeah, it's more a question of how much it's going to matter, though. At this stage in the game, the resonance... They're kind of nice. The Ecolics as well. But then the Thrones just come in and wipe things out. The Behemoths come in and... Well, they don't wipe things out quite so much. Ooh, behemoths, let's go. Yeah, I think that was a... I don't know if that was a good call, getting any behemoths, because it's not going to do anything for the thrones. And if they can't get past the thrones to drop Quiddle on the resonance, or the Icolics, it's not going to be good. We got a Sharu. That's... Seemingly not as big of a threat. Got an Ostrike. Oh, push in? oh, he missed him. Okay. Uh, missed on the plagues. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Did still push back Blue's forces. Yeah, that was still good uh, defensive play, even if it didn't hit. But... And still, it's a bit of a stalemate. We do have slight army advantage for Hydra, which they're going to take advantage of. Did they take out an expansion? Hydra has so much fire right now. Yeah, Mixu is enough. Mixu and Magical, Magical both of them enough for Great Hunt if they want to. Yeah. Hydra doesn't really have enough for a pillar. They nothing really offensively, honestly. No. I, I love the fact uh, seeing this in two v twos. Uh, one team doing ground units and the other one doing air. I'm loving that. I do see that uh, you got some cascaders now, but I was loving that, like actually yeah. complimenting your team. And I've been wanting to see more of that, to be honest. Yeah, we were talking about that off-stream before when it came to Team Unity. You're really keen on that. Yeah. Because I, I believe, like, that's, like, probably the most ultimate strategy. Because then you're not housing your army, like, like points. You know what I mean? Like, right. You, you're not going to waste them. So now I can have, like, 15 freaking thrones instead of just, like, four. You know. Speaking oh, of, great though, hunt. Oh great hunt coming goodness. in from Magical. Woo! Look at all this firepower. The Cascaders are just annihilating all the drones, pushing them back. Jeez. Empire and Broken's wow. trying to help out, but uh, the attack speed buffs are coming through. Though i is able it, to put a stop to that. On them. It backfired on them. And Mixu has Great Hunt available to them. They are, yeah, looks like they are setting hunt. up to use it, too. Yep. And the Cascaders are just demolishing. Or is that not there? Who's blood? Who's Zul summon is that? We got a, we got a Ashrek. Oh, we play. Oh, oh. Sharu is still alive. We get another Ashrek. Kind of missed. It hit one. It's a target unit. Uh, Magical's force is more so going down, which is not ideal because yeah, they this are. this is not. Hydra and uh, I just. I can't believe this is happening. Hydra makes you manage to like pull back from all that. Yeah, Man. that was just that was very good. It seemed like it was more just the lack of like it was a lot of small units in the ground that got the buffs from Great Hunt, which didn't do a lot of good do against much. the Icors. Yeah, you're right, right. Yeah, the Icors, man. I'm so happy that there's they're they're so useful. Ancient was killed by a team fire. Fire is pushing back Hydra and Magical right now. And it looks like we're going to have a little... Uh, if they stay on the upper terrain on the hill, might be a good advantage. Looks like they're going to just get stomped by the... <laughs> the poor... Poor unfortunate moats. This is not good. They're definitely just sweeping around, playing with their food. I mean, they don't want to don't throw anything away. And to be fair, their opponents can build up again. Yeah. You gotta be careful. On the other hand, they have such a huge pyre advantage. I'm not even sure what they yeah. want to do with it. They, they can do so much right now. Yep, they could drop some. We got some, some Dervish. 
Just summon Zola a couple times, drop some ambush circles. Like Hydra down with another Acropolis. Actually, you know what? Surprisingly, Hydra hasn't expanded that much. Despite like no. they've taken out a lot of Acropolises, but they haven't yeah, yeah. built many of their own. All right, we got the pushback. Let's see if they're gonna take the bait. There's oh, a great, great hunt. hunt. All yep. right, where did Nixu summon? Oh my oh, goodness! There's look a, at all right. All these Icor. Oh God. yeah, the dealt like it, there's the, the Icor with an attack speed buff. That is terrifying. Wow, the Icor are just demolishing the whole battlefield right now. I think this is gonna be it. This is yeah. There's the, the GG. Icor just came out spitting out truth and knowledge for that W. Let's go. I mean, I just not gonna lie. That was. A little bit surprising. Well was, played, very well played, but man, beautiful. man, how how do you like seeing your Icor literally just? Demolish I am very pleased. The game right there, like wow. That was that was well synergized with the Great Hunt. We wouldn't have been saying this if, like a few weeks ago, like Icor. Nope. Talking about anything about the Icor right now, so I, I'm super excited. Wow, that that damage. They set up. It was a good trap. <laughs> oh, that's true. It was because it kind of pulled them in a little bit, and then yeah, and then uh, they couldn't get away because of the hunt. Yeah, that's right. And then after that, it's like just all the damage in the world. Because why not? Yeah. Look at that. Just insane. And get the opening. Yeah, that's it. There's the Pillar of Heavens. Yeah, yeah, that was... That was... Hey, that was... I mean, just seeing all those i just doing work. Wow. Thank you, Sunsphere Games. <laughs> I thank you. Wow. That was so cool. Like... And there's so many thrones. Like... Well, what's surprising was that there's so many thrones, but it wasn't throne game. Because, like, no. I mentioned, you know, back in the Throne Wars... It was Throne Zephyr. That was it. Yeah. Like, you just got mass thrones, thrones, and there was not much you could... I mean, you kind of get Castigators, but it wasn't a whole lot you could do besides. Yeah. Like... And Zephyrs they, were too cost-effective anyway, so you just went in Zephyr Throne and tried to <laughs> position... Out-position each other's. I feel but they used them... That was, yeah, more variety. ...as that defensive unit, like I was talking about. Because they're right. so healthy, right? So you push them out, right? So the enemy is getting kind of scared, so they're going to run back. But some units are a little slower than some ranged units so they're mm -hmm. just getting poked from behind and such a good strategy such a good strategy and the castigators just i love seeing <laughs> i love seeing castigators just missile fire down some thrones man <laughs> it feels that's good. what they're for <laughs> that's why <laughs> they exist so good <laughs> the high core flood, yeah. It's a good way to call it. <laughs> high core right. for more. We are going to be moving on to what maybe the last game. It's definitely tournament point for Throne Sport. Yeah. They... Um. Don't leave Magical and Hydra out. I'm not. I'm not. But it is it really you know, one-sided. I it's understand. not just one-sided. <laughs> it was actually pretty close last game. Could have gone either way. But yeah. if. If Magical and Hydra don't win this, then the tournament is over. Yeah. Now, right. So, same as last time. Oh, wait, no, not Ajari for Mixu. We, uh, one of the sides is not playing Warzone today. This is the first time we've wow. seen on stream. One of the sides just not play Warzone. That's crazy. All right, what is the plan? Well, fast expansion. That's a pretty good plan. Fast expansion versus fast expansion, both players being pretty safe. I mean, at Magical and Hydraulics, they can't really afford to go super cheesy because they if they lose, they yeah. die. Yeah, they're Mixing definitely going to play Hydra safe. actually have room to experiment a little bit, see what they can play yeah. with, because if they lose, they just play the next game. Yeah. And the next game, they have two game buffer. 
Yeah, that's that's the only reason why I said it's kind of one sided. Just in the winds, you know, the two zero. It's just yeah, that free win from the hard. first. It's from the very hard finals. to yeah. get that out of your mindset and push forward. So, well, to be I, fair, they can't see the scores. Like the players, <laughs> players don't have the scores. That's that's just us. Yeah, yeah, but they know. Yeah, they they do. I'm sure. Got some teapots, scouting about. Not seeing a whole lot out of the ordinary there. Got double ether extractions on both sides. And everyone's built that up. But bigger question is the production facilities. We have one altar coming in here for... Do we have any proxies? It's magical. I don't see any. No nope, proxies. just setting up scouts with no proxies. All right. One legion all coming in. A couple... Altars for Hydra. Is Spatula going for tech? Because yeah, I think they're going for tech. Yeah, they got three, three Ether Mons. They're probably going for tech as well. Yeah, getting guard her early on. So, Ice Team Ice going much more for a tech-focused game, while Team Fire is looking to be a bit more immediately aggressive. Yeah, we got a Reliquary build up. So there you go, more Zephyrs, probably going to be built up. Possibly mm -hmm. Magi, but more Zephyrs, more than likely. Magi would be a good thing, though, right now. Just because of the air unit. A lot of ground at the beginning. I mean... Then again, Bone Stalkers, so I don't know. Yeah. They, they get hidden, they run around, they snipe at the Magi. Pretty good at that. <laughs> snipe at the Magi. Where's the Valkyrie? Sorry, where did you there see the reliquary? I thought there was one on the bottom, right? On uh, Santa's or uh, Hydra's side or something. There's a soul foundry. There's some. Yeah, I thought it was on Hydra's side. Mm. Nope, soul foundry. No. Yeah, this is maybe a soul foundry. My bad. Oh, okay. Well, still good. What is? Oh, that that is the. Actual, well, not out. No, the more newer placeholder art for the House of the Fading Saints. So the Hallower tech, oh. Hallower and Ark Mother tech building, and also the tech building for things like Dervish Mines and Dervish Speed. I haven't seen any Ark Mothers today. That'd be nice to see. Well, we might see some today. We're getting a lot of Dervish right off the bat. Dervish, yeah. Is the right call considering all the bone stalkers being built out by Hydra? I mean, not Hydra, by, well, those are by Hydra, but that won't really matter. By yeah. Magical, as well. Magical, magical and yeah. also building Bone Stalkers to help. <laughs> Mixu hopefully will not attack Hydra's Bone Stalkers as they are on the same team. <laughs> but, I don't know, I'm not their mom. <laughs> or dad, I guess. Don't worry. Case, but yeah. Don't worry, team damage is turned on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, alright, I'm not your dad. You can go... Okay, mines! All right, I have not had a chance to see Dervish Mines be used in the field. Ooh. I have not seen those yet. Okay. Pull them Let's back in, pop them off. So they deal... Oh, right, because hover. So they, oh, slow, they slow and cause units that they, they hit by them to take extra damage for a bit. Oh, wow. Okay. As... Oh, oh, wow! Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, okay, cool. Uh, Good, okay. good use of Dervish Mines. They, yeah, they paid off. I have, like I said, I have not seen them used, and it's like, I really want to see play. them used because it's a, that, it's a cool option to have. That was really good to see. Thank you, Mixu, for playing yeah. around with Dervish Mines on tournament, on stream. Yeah, and finding value. Right. I mean, that was very good value. <laughs> stop the, this. Stop yes. the scout. Yeah. Oh! Oof, losing some some power for that, though. My cores. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, they got hit with it again? They did. Oh, beautiful. And, another, and more Zentari oh, popping oh. in here. Gets slowed as well. Oh. Oh. Getting wrecked because of the damage oh, bonus. Here we go, here we go. Oh, he's going to try to hit him with another mine. Yeah, so. and they get it. The I cores are starting to overwhelm. Here, here, more Dervish coming in the reinforcements on top of the resonance. Being Dervish. forced back. They, they're they just so quick. I love how they glide through the air. It's just 
really, really cool. I had little. I had, gotta notice that before. They got little rocket skates. Yeah. I really, really like it. Yeah. Originally, when I thought, I was like, "Are they rollerblading?" <laughs> yes. You know, skating on air. You know what I mean? Yeah, they like, they are. That that is actually that. what they're doing. It's very observant. Well spotted. Ooh, look at the resonance coming in. Oh, and that's gonna Definitely be huge. coming down. We got some Zakal. A good, good frontline unit. It will help a bit against the Dervish, but oh, the sheer okay. numbers plus the mine bonus damage. We got some scepters. That's the only thing that's gonna help out here is the scepters. Hit them up. Very, very good. Push them back. Oh. Are they in this? Yep, they're hidden. If you get close enough, you see them, but yeah, otherwise, I, you don't. I, I, I saw that they, like, glowed, like, that gold now. It's because different. they're, yeah, that's that's yeah, the hidden that's very cool. graphic. All right, so... Magical and Hydraulics have been managing to take a little bit more of the... the map as a result of all this. Like, despite... Despite seeming like Mixu and Hydra are winning these these fights, they were right. gradually losing map control. Like, it was more of a strategic right. retreat that was working out for them. But now it's coming to the end of the line, and they got to push back. And the answer, apparently, is to counter-harass. Right. It's a good answer. We got some uh, Absolvers coming, and they might chill on the, the top of the hill over here. Just so they just don't skate in on in. Wow. Well, that would have been a good idea. I don't, I don't think he, they thought the call were going to be chilling in the back like that. Oh, man. Is that enough? No. Or it might not be enough to uh, sort of pace the Dervish. Not really wow. quite yeah, worth that, it. That was definitely a waste, unfortunate. Well, um, there's a lot more where that came from. And the third has been built. I mean, the more important thing is it didn't deal a lot of damage, but it did force Magical Hydraulics to move back. Yeah, so it gave Mixu and Hydra more breathing room. Oh, more importantly, the Castigators as well. Hunt. Great on Pop Mike. Magical Axe runs the pillar. Double ultimates coming in from Team Ice. Heaven's Ages. Oh my goodness. This is a battle. That... It's not an ultimate anymore, though. It's going to help out a bit, but only so much. Oh no. Open up Dervish a little bit, but that damage, oh, no. that attack speed buff from the Great Hunt. So good. Always thing to so watch good. out for. The dervish were just getting poked by that tower with the orzum on them. Wow. Not to mention the third looking pretty messed up. And the ally only, too. Nothing here to defend it. Yeah, Magical and Hydra are doing really well right now. Uh, making them really think and retreat. Will they get this Acropolis down before? It looks the like. Army oh, maybe. Gets... Oh, this is going to be super think... close. Oh, they backed off. Oh, they didn't quite Gave get it, it though. Him. They gave it to him. They Got did. Some castigators coming in. Um, not sure what they're gonna do. Oh, they 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 singled out the zephyrs. That was very nice. Well, very with good. That, at least they cleared out some of the forces. But again, the alloy only the other target. So two yeah. bases for pretty small army costs. Do we have any wind stuff? Uh, I wonder if that research has been. Good question. Or not on Hydra's side. I would assume so. I expect that you would, but I can't find sometimes, out right now. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you, you wait a little bit. Got another Acropolis popping up over here. Just doing its thing. The mix at least was able to get another expansion. I'd have to lose in the third. But yeah. Hydra's in a tough spot. They only have two bases. Yeah, but Hydra's got a really good uh, team going on right now. This is a call of the Resonance. I don't... It's more of a question of positioning now. Yeah. And numbers, too. Like Positioning and numbers. If they go they in get... the middle. Oh, I think it will be two. We have Mixu distracting from the back, and there is... Mandrolix is being pushed away, oh, so room man. has been created. Hydra and Mixu could start re-expanding if they wanted to. I believe this is going to be a push straight in. Oh, they're backing off. They see all the resonance. Very good. 
Okay. All right, just if they're not siege, siege, they noticed he's not okay. He siege one. There we go. He doesn't know that he's getting poked. That's the end. Oh, point. I see. The, I I see the. I saw the them siege. The little. Uh, oh yeah, the little. The, yeah, the I love it. Cute animation. That is so awesome. Pillar of Heavens is dropping down. Right on top of the resonance too. We got some Zephyrs and some Scepters. Heaven's Age is going on up. And will help. Providing the extra shields wow. is nice. It's just... There was only one Absolver there. They could have probably yeah. used three or four right there for a good line. But it looks like they might be going around. Attack on the side. Okay, both Sockers coming in. Trying to take out these Scepters, but we got some throws what? in as well. Rooted out the three Scepters, however, but unfortunately, oh, nothing's there to take advantage. Nothing, nothing. Oh, that was such a and the well set up play. Popping in. We got some Scepters just destroying. The calls are all out. Hey, dropping profit, profit of the hunt. So, at the very least, this extra attack. Protection move speed coming in. On top of Zol, just, you know, dealing damage. Hydro and Mixu are doing really well. Uh, they're not focusing on the Cascader at all. And the Cascader might be able to get two thrones. That seems to be the plan. Cascader might get two. Oh, Cascader's getting pushed back. Oh, three. Uh, got three what's... more popping up. They do, but defense. it's a rebuild. What is going to be setting up? But right now, Mixu yeah, and know. Hydra, they're still okay on Ether, but yeah, starting yeah, to run a bit dry. They're. And then the base for Mixu yeah, is up and running. It's still kind of iffy. Yeah, the third is stuck. Yeah, they didn't set up any, like, defense or anything to make sure that they could have, like, a line to defend and actually expand. Hydra which and Magical been, have just been pushing on them. They have, the which game. has sort of helped. I mean, they're getting another expansion here, but now... Yep. Raids coming in the back, Bone Stalkers to the run by, and yep. that's killing off that base. Wow. The three o'clock. Very, very good uh looking out right there, magical with the bone stalkers. Mm -hmm. Some dervish chilling back here. We'll save it. Yeah, at least clean that up for now. But still a question of how do you contend with eleven hundred Army value when you only have five thousand, and or eleven thousand value when you only have five thousand, yeah. and you don't have anywhere near as much economy. It's like hydraulics and magical both have at least three bases, magical with a fourth on top, and that's yeah. against two and four respectively. Yeah, hydraulics has an amazing army <laughs> right now. It's just that's it's the scariest being... part. It's close to being over 9,000 here soon. Yeah, individually. Yeah. This is getting really nutty. I mean, 11,000 power to almost 6K. This is pretty one-sided on how big the armies are. We got some behemoths oh, coming in, though. No, more. Magical. we have this tower foundation right in the center. That's very good. Like, the perfect spot for the tower. This has been a thing that people oh, can discover the oh, tower. Oh, he's got setup. a siege unit. He's got a siege unit. But the resonance. He's pushing him back. He's pushing it back. They're going to lose the resonance if yeah. they keep mid. Throwing sword. Oh. Okay. Think... At least the Cascaders yeah. kind of around the back. It's just nothing to defend them. Yeah, I was about to say, there's four Cascaders just running around with no other army units. I hope they didn't get caught out. And This is not... Not looking good for big, Mixu and Hydra right now. It's not. The big problem here is that this is their entire army. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's all they got, really. half of their opponents. So now the you know, Magical and Hydraulics can just go, wait a second, we can just walk through the main bridge. Yeah. And then we're fine. Um, they are losing units, though. Uh, True. They've, they've lost about 1,500. So It is more of a question of position. Like it's Yes, they're mm. losing units, but if they get in the right spot or get the pincer or get a 2v1 it's it's over for team fire yeah although makes you not taking the line down no. sending the dervish out are they gonna do yeah. multi-pronged harassment because they're certainly gonna do quite a bit of harassment yes they are 
couple dervish go down to the southwest. A couple of them go over to the 9 o'clock. Trying to take out everything they can find. That's breaking the siege as well. The contain is over. Hydra and Mixu roaming around the map, trying to take out what they can to at least stabilize themselves in the game. Yeah, Hydraulics is getting some more Zephyr units uh, equating into the middle. This is looking like a really big buildup. And Mixu is just walking through the back line on the left side of the map. Oh, yeah. Wow, taking out all the moats. Mm -hmm. Other side, Necropolis is going to go down. Empire Broken will buy enough time for the rest of the army to, re yeah. to regroup. And this and is this really is the bad two for this Hydraulics. The was talking about. Yeah, Hydraulics has nowhere to go. Um, well, Hydra has nowhere to go. Hydraulics is having They're, a field right, day, yeah, and there it is. Magical Hydraulics take the win on the board. Yep. That was a really good comeback. I mean, it wasn't like I'm just saying with the one-two, you know, mm -hmm. they 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 controlled that whole game. Oh yeah, that was that was solid. That was, yeah, I, I feel like they uh, was a Hydra. I think it was like re relying on too many bone stalkers, not like upgrading, getting like better units on the field. Yeah, certainly but at I, first. I think, like, it wasn't just because that, but because, like, they were just constantly in a fight. So I guess there really wasn't right. much to probably think about, except, like, build, 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 try to equate this. I, it's, it was such a good match. Yeah, that worked out really well. So, Mixun, or Magic Hunter Oxford? Oh, I don't board. hear you now. Mixun Hydra. Oh. That's right, I didn't. Do you hear me? I do. Sorry about that. Oh, I hear I hear you now. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I was Mixon. like, wait, what? Yeah, so Magical Hydraulics on the board. Mix and Hydra get to pick the map that they think they can take the tournament on. Fool's Bay? Maybe. I don't know. I would, I would like Fool's Bay. I would like Fool's Bay. It'd be nice to have all three. Yeah. Yeah. But we gotta wait for them. Figure out what they want. Do we get a, you know, if it's a 3v3 tie win, you know, we get to pick. <laughs> no. No, if we get to game four, it's not gonna be. Not gonna be Frontiers. It's the only map left. <laughs> That's not allowed oh. for 2v2 anyway. No? No. Even for 1v1, it's questionable. We're 2v2 now. Yeah, this is such a good tournament, though. Learning a lot. Those mines, though. The mine control I, is really like, cool. That's really, the first time really I've nice. seen someone really make significant use of mines. Mm -hmm. That was really nice. Definitely made them think to where they were, like, going to run down and engage. Yes. They started, they, that's when they started. They're like, all right, I'm not going to keep going middle. Maybe we'll just come over here on the right. You know, man. Bit of a shame that it didn't end up providing enough to really make it go through, but it helped. Yeah. Those Dervish, though. Wow. So fast. Like, just killing back lines with the, the moats. Very, very nice. I like to see that. I'd probably like to see it more early on. Right. Than later. Because I feel like you're kind of throwing your units in a bad spot, because those like that unit cost you don't have anymore, right? Because the good point. is running around. And that's something we might see again. Hydra going for Orzum, though. Yeah, no, going for Orzum might still go for the Dervish. Though we have Hydraulics going for Mala, so we are going to see Mala today. Finally. Do get to see what's new with, or you get to see what's new with Mala. Thank you. I just want to say thank you, Hydraulics. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking really, really well. Expansions. Right. Yeah, uh, early builds. Very good, only doing the one 
Ether. Very good. It's good to have maybe your partner do two, and then you do one. It depends what you're building up for. If yeah, if you want to have the early, get really early, pyre collection, like really early military, then it's worthwhile. Yeah. But it's still kind of up in the air which way is best. Yeah, the, I'm always evil and builds. throw my barrack out immediately. <laughs> it's probably I mean, if dumb, you're gonna go, like... if you're gonna go in hard, then you can go in hard. That's an option. Nothing wrong with it. Ooh. I I'm liking this position right here. It's a very good position. Oh? You should, you should probably take out that neutral tower, though, just in case if they want to smack it. Oh, with the... Yeah, 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 this one. Yeah, yeah. No. It's a no very, really very quiet me, beginning. Very quiet beginning. We just got scouts Weirdly quiet beginning. meeting up. They're meeting up in the the middle, which is funny. Surprised we aren't seeing any moats tagging the neutral towers. That's so yeah. that's a normal thing now. I just don't even know. Yeah, I, I think they're both just being cautious. They realized uh they can't they can't easily beat magical and hydraulics. Right. Or, you know. So that mindset they got into their heads, so they're both, I feel, going to be playing both safe on both sides. And getting this early pyre is going to be really nice. If we can destroy it before they pop in. Okay, never mind. It was just Zentari units. Maybe steal this before... Yep. I think they might be able to, yeah. Yeah, yeah they got more. Uh, this is some Zentari. It doesn't matter. Just keep poking them. Got more. Oop! Zentari is almost dead. You gotta be careful. Yeah, no, they're fine. It's good poke damage. Heal up. Looks like a symbiote's on the way. I don't know where that symbiote's gone. Hmm. And Magical is just in pyre heaven right now. I mean, he is... They, got, they are very close to a great hunt. Yeah. He's definitely doing some work on the map control. What do we have? Oh, right now we've got... Pretty much standard offensive play. They've got... They took out the pyre. Trying to come back. Avoid getting this run by actually dealing with them. Zentari. And getting thrums, too. We have not the yet thrum, seen the thrums thrum, today. Thrum, thrum. Let's go. I love the thrums. Wow. All right. a, lot of, a lot of things Very nice. this match that are the first for today's tournament. Yeah, well, it makes sense because they have bone canopy, right? Nice. Well, I mean, more than since that we just haven't seen... Normally, we'd have to see thrums all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Aerox that we barely see anymore. That's true. Yeah. Although they're having a lot of the air units that they counter. There's not a lot of thrums. There's not a lot of call for Aerox. Right. Although, to be fair, they are very they are useful against thrones and Sharu. But again, not sure if the production rate reduction... The like, you can only, well, you can only produce half of... Or a little over half of a building supply. So they have to thrums build are it going in the back. Mixu's trying to get them. Man, I can't really find anything right now. He's got him cornered. Sort of, but they still got <coughs> solid hits. They can, it's more they're, if they can run away. They just want to get as many moats as they can before they do. Yeah. Same time, thrums. I mean, both magical and hydraulics going for the thrums. Yeah, that's a really, really good call. Uh, we do have a sentinel. But the Sentinel's not going to be able to do much. Um, with not one Sentinel. One. Yeah, you know, three or four Sentinels had, would wreck face. Uh, two against three, you, those Sentinels would win for sure. Yes. Um, but one v three is not not key. But this well, is still, really it's well. It's enough to chase Hydra, off hydraulics. Hi, yeah, Hydra uh, ended up getting his other Sentinel. 
and he's gotten rid of all. Yep. That's magical. He gone. flew. He flew too close to the tower, and the tower beamed it. Oh wow. Hydraulics with some more thrums. We got some resonance. But the Icors and the Zephyrs with some Zentarian Sentinels are going to be pushing them right up the hill. Oof, that, that and damage. they are just taking and them And Icor buff damage. And the Icor are actually really fast. Oh, they got a speed um, upgrade. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Or rather, Mixu got the speed upgrade for the Icor. That's, I, that's a good call. Yeah, if you have them in the main army, that's typically what you want to do. They have another upgrade that if they stand in a spot oh, for four seconds, they will make the a slow field, but that's Sentinel. been less useful. We got some more Icors uh, coming in. It's yes. looking like we're going to get this across down. The heart, sorry. Um, God, heart, your Grove Heart does go down. Mm -hmm. Icor on the other side just to take out some moats, because why not? This is looking like a very nice... Uh, Poke game, a lot of mind games going in, some run buys, oh. some defense I, as well. I feel that that was, I think that was worth it. it was oh, it was, icon. it absolutely was. Three hundred alloy for yeah. half an alloy, like yeah, no, that's yeah. break even at worst. Yeah, that was very, very good. Uh, they need to stay at that hill. They need to get something like yeah, some more siege units on that hill to protect them. They can sit there and build up their army. Um, Unless yeah, they're coming careful. on the left side now, they're coming on the left side. They're getting smart. I mean, twelve o'clock is going to be harassed out, but that's in trade yeah. for a fully functioning alloy only, yeah. fully upgraded alloy only. Not the best trade for is that a team fire here. We have Zephyrs to take it down. They do. It didn't look like it was canceled either. No, I don't think so. It might have been quick, like too quick, for for us to see too. So he could have, he can't. But I didn't, I don't see any uh, extra material. Yeah, I didn't see any bounce back resources. But regardless, it's it is still. Well, it's looking like hydraulics still is pretty healthy for resources. Even yeah, I don't I don't know why hydraulics hasn't moved these units a little bit so they're not getting smacked by the units on top of the hill. Like I was saying, keep those on the hills. Block both your left and right side port. You'll be good. Well, that's that is a mistake really, that really good. hasn't quite cost them yet. No, but, but they it need is to just run. Isolated. They need to run in and save their. They they have more than enough right here. And so they will use it. Breath resonant yeah. just goes. There we go. Immediately goes down. Second resonant shouldn't last too much longer. Ah, uh, should be under spine. Under spine is done. They could take this pyre camp if they wanted to. We got some residents uh, walking up though. From wow, look at these guys. Look That's these a guys. lot of residents from hydraulics and magical mm -hmm. too, but more so hydraulics. Yeah. It's was that three under spine that he had with them. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Great hunt. Magical casts it down. Okay, there's the speed bonus. There's this the. This is going to be wiping out majority of the resonance and the uh, what they can what they can catch anyway yeah i mean like, they, all... they got majority of them there was two that yeah mixes well mix is one that dropped it so they more kept themselves alive while hydraulics is trying to set up profit of the hunt or the profit of the, hunt, the profit of the hunt the blood profit one now this one the red nice. harvest yeah he, he, he waited for the lovely, lovely Indus. We got some hollers. Let's go. There you go. There's it. your favorite. You got to have the hollers in. They're really good against resonant units. Oh, you don't want to push all your tanks in too far to where your hollers can't hit anything. Well, they got to be careful. They, if they attack into that, any units that die near Mala there will become Kittles. So they've got to be yeah. careful. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. That, that's a good thing because I I have not seen that yet. So no, yeah. Reminder. This okay. is not looking good. All the resonance that you could throw are just on these guys right now. And they cannot stabilize I just trying to get back. 
Yeah, Hydra needs to go all the way back. We got rain of blood. Okay, coming down there for we go. Hydraulics. A couple solid colic hits at least able to take out most of these bone stalkers before the rain of blood really wow. comes in force. But rain now the icon from hydraulics providing a bit more firepower on top of the resonance being built up. But the resonance now have to contend with the uh, Hallowers and home and turf. And even back. with rain of blood, it's not enough. Being completely surrounded here, losing all of the residents, their entire army, Magical's army sucks. wiped. Hydraulic's army down to a thousand value, Let's basically go. down to Did what? A couple behemoths. That's it. Oh my goodness. That was. What a beautiful turn of events. That right was there. it. That was it. Throne Sport turning that into a game win. Well, Hydraulic hasn't, hasn't GG'd yet, so. GG. They might try to now go for it, did. but yeah, it's. They threw it in. Oh. Come on. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, he's they just, haven't. He's just saying officially? GG. Yeah, Ma I think Magical. No, they're not just saying it. You say that, you, you lose your Acropolises. Or you lose your Town Hall structures. Oh, dude. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Yeah, and that's I saw, it. I saw them pop up on the left. Well, wow, with that. What a beautiful. That is our tournament. Magical Hydraulics did manage to take a game, so good for them. They got on the board. But Throne Sport, 3-1. Wow. Taking it, it ultimately beautiful. with only... They did lose a game. Not totally undefeated. Not a complete sweep. Right. But, but I mean... Didn't lose any rounds. Is that what you They're 7-1? Come on. You know? Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. That's, they, they played the most out of anyone else today. You're right, they did. So, huh. I, that's amazing. Amazing. I mean, that's typical when it comes to the... I mean, if you're winning the tournament, that's usually the... Well, no, because normally yeah. it's a longer loser's bracket. because we have a short yeah. loser's bracket today. Yeah, that yeah. was the... Normally, the loser's bracket's pretty, you know, yep. pretty decent size. That was amazing. Amazing games. GG to throw in sport. I can't believe that. That was just so much fun. They the, played. They played out of their minds. So congratulations. The minds. They they did. I yeah. I'm very glad we got to see they that. They played out of we, their dervish minds, bro. Hey. You know? Hey. All right. So that is that is gonna be that. So thank you all of you for who signed up for the tournament because we need players to play the tournament to have them. Thank you to. Thanks, Jaeger, or Ty Jaeger, for helping co-commentate. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks I, for having me on. Yeah. Appreciate and thank you all. Well, next week we will have Sumus back. I actually won't be here next week. They'll probably be out Fox doing it. You'll just Sumus. watch the Discord. Watch the Discord. You'll see who's doing the commentary and such. But next week's my birthday, so I'm not going to... I'm going to take Ooh, the day off. Happy early birthday. Thank you. That's awesome. And then... Yeah, so th this week... Seamus wasn't here, so because they are, they are moving. But anyway, that is Ooh. so. Yeah, everything went back awesome. more or less to normal. Well, next week is the thing, and the week after is the monthly tournament, which is being run by All Chat Esports. I think it'll be on Sunspear's channel. So keep nice. an eye out for that. Again, nice. just watch the Discord. Next couple weeks, the stream won't be on here. It'll be on other people's channels because I will be on their birthday, or it won't be on my channel because it'll be an official Sunspear thing. Anyway. Until all that, thank you all of you for watching, and have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Have an awesome night. Thanks to all the participants.